Uh, you know, the defense and the improvements that you guys have talked about that you wanted to make, how would you assess the defensive performance overall in this game? Um, I think we played with a, a sense of urgency. I mean, we we uh, we uh, we made sure our technique was right and our schemes. We uh, I think we did a good job of uh, forcing those guys off the three-point line and, you know, they threw it to Bama, who's an all-star in the post, and he did his thing. You know, he Jeff and DJ made him shoot tough shots all night and you got to live with those, and you know he's such a great player um, that he's gonna keep him in the game with his passing and rebounding and shot making. So I think overall we did a solid job. Duncan Robinson didn't get his loose. Maybe he got a few late, but he didn't get his loose. Um, so I think we uh, we followed the game plan. What's this feel out process, you know, like with obviously yourself, Kyrie, James, other guys all get involved. Just the second game where you guys have all been together. What, from your perspective, what does this feel out process like as you build trust? Um, trust is already there, I think. I think just the familiarity familiarity with, the, with each other is there already. We play with each other and know each other's games for the last decade. And, um, you know, it's just a matter of, you know, what plays we're going to run at certain times, what lineups we're going to have out there. I think, you know, both the coaches and the players are fine-tuning everything. And um, we're going to have spurts where, you know, we play inconsistent and it's just because, you know, we're trying things. But for the most part, um, our minds and hearts are in the right place when we out there and um, we're trying to take care of business every possession. Bruce Beck with NBC New York. Kevin, before the game, Steve said that he wanted to see five men show intelligence and passion. Do you think you saw that tonight? Well, for sure. Um, you know, being intelligent out there is half the battle, you know, and I feel like uh, a lot of guys, uh, most of the guys on this team, well, everybody on this team knows how to play the right way, knows, how, knows different schemes, have played in different philosophy, different philosophies on both ends of the floor, uh, and it's about executing. I think tonight we, uh, we did a good job. I mean, we were up 20 points. We were up 16, 14 going into the fourth quarter, and, uh, you know, so we, we were in good shape. Uh, but we got we got to put together four quarters of great basketball. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey Kevin, following up on uh, you talking about coaches trying things and fine tuning. Um, after the last game, the sentiment was, hey, we don't need to tinker that much with scheme. It's more just guys have to individually defend better. Um, after this game, I'm curious, were there were there changes in terms of a uh, game, or was this just? you guys play better on defensively, individually. Yeah, I mean, definitely your defense looks better when teams miss shots, you know. And you got to give credit to the Cleveland team who knocked down shots on us. And then in the fourth quarter tonight, they made shots. Sometimes over a hand, you know. So you got to live with some of those things. And, you know, this is the NBA. Guys are pros, um, you know. So we we put ourselves in position to get stops, you know, by contesting Bam in the mid-range, taking Duncan Robinson off the three, Kelly Olenek off the three. Um, you know, so we, we went through the stuff that we were supposed to go through um, in film, and we went out there and executed. Um, you know, so we, for the most part, we did what we were supposed to do. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, Kevin, this was only the second full game for you guys together, you know, you, Kyrie, and James. Uh, even though James didn't get his usual uh, uh, amount of shots, I do find it almost shocking that you guys can play this well together so so quickly you know to the point where you guys combined to score every point in the fourth quarter no i don't it's not a surprise to me i mean we're we're veterans in this league we've been through every situation so far um so we know how to handle that and um but for the most part it's getting our teammates involved early on joe got going um jeff got going you know i think that's what we uh, we try to do to start the games, and if we're in a fourth quarter game, we got to go out there and be special and be who we are and make plays. And uh, you know, but our whole team uh, put us in position uh, to uh, go out there and, and execute in the fourth. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Kevin, scoring 20 points in all 13 games you've played in this season is the longest streak you've had like that in your career is there something about the looks you're getting your teammates with it that's lending itself to that sort of production i just feel like i'm getting more opportunities as as each game goes on i mean coach is putting in different sets um he's you know every, everybody plays with the pass here and you know so guys are going to get looks all game especially if you play a lot of minutes and it's on me to finish those shots and i feel like i, I left a few shots on the table tonight that i, I wanted to make but uh, for the most part i think i'm uh, 
you know, I'm trying to be smart and efficient with my movements out there, and I think I could definitely get better, but I'm moving in the right direction. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Kevin, I want to ask you about two moments uh, in this game. The first happened in the four, in the second quarter, excuse me. Um, I think TLC has the ball in the corner with Bam on him. You're clapping for the ball, and he takes Bam to the, to the hoop, hits Joe Harris in the corner with the skip pass, and now you kind of give him a high five on the way back. What does it tell you when... You, you can call for the ball and you can still trust a guy like TLC or anybody else in the roster to make a play without needing you to, to kind of make it for him. Yeah, I mean, when I see a guy in the corner maybe trapped and, 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 and you know, somebody's forcing the base and using that sideline as a defender, I tried to give him an outlet, but TLC made a, a great play, driving base and kicking to our shooter uh, in the corner. Uh, but I was just letting him know that I was there as an outlet for him if he needed it. Last question, Tom Dowd with BrooklynNets.com. Hey, Kevin, uh, Kyrie had 18 in the fourth tonight. I think he had 12 out of 16 for you guys at, at one point. What did you see from him during that stretch when he kind of held off Miami? Um, I mean, you've seen how special and and talented and hardworking Kyrie is. I mean, he works on all of those shots every day, and he comes in with that men mentality that, you know, especially late in the games, you're going to have to knock those down for us. Um, so he's an all-world player. He's a great teammate. Uh, but when the ball's in his hands late in the game, uh, our team is just so unpredictable because he can make the pass, he can score in the mid-range, score from the three-point area, get to the basket, and we got rep weapons around him. Uh, it makes it tough to guard. So we're going to need that from him going forward. And, um, you know, he was phenomenal in that fourth.